I'm not like do die that if I don't win, I'm going to kill myself. And therefore, I would not be afraid of the truth. Severally, they're going around everywhere destroying Kenya Japan. I can tell you of Anodon Pre, I can tell you of Admaku Befi, I can tell you of Ochiri Befi, I can tell you of uh Abu Siamida say so I bre now share a put or TV. Wada Roma son subscribe here na Wabu Modin as subscribe now do comment to us your home. But modin so be share say video in a Afro France at me and Hunubi. Na and then news we see a ye nya be mana ye papa Kennedy, a compra kun a Japon. Or no anna e kasei. A compra kwa Japon. On ti ase ye kan se se be ma o ti o man mu dia e ka me ya se wi o no a ase obi en xe de ni ho no msa because o kan adwene pe 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 on fa ho ni se o no mi enu ana e shata de kro ana zo o no mi enu ana e bi e didi bom adwene ne ba na wo so o ka kire wa ma se o bobbo no pe 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 se ne etie no e de a kire wo enu bi ana ene canadian japan e ko apa west eh home radio o ko tena ho no na o no mo e di nkomo ana host ni bi ah kennedy na wo obi a wo so do mpp a wo do sika ni ade a support party wa talkers dia mema party na se party e bi kura obi atia wo na so kakra na information na ndc here e dia ye campaign e no na wo de ba abonten aba beka ana kennedy e kirem se masa anya sa na ti wo ndc fo mo o man o mun tim bi nti se o man ne mu e dia nti o mun nim se o man no mutim se na dollar na na e wo for Sidia, Omo ma asu de ko 15 no nti omo no man te hebi omo ehun no na nya me ana me say party ne nemum party no ade omo ye editi ame no ano ye den me me campaign me ye nyina me ye e de ba life am obi akra hebi but aman for obo bonko fo din say wey 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 omo kokot na sia che se me me ho asem ana omo e ka ne sa enya asem ketua ada roma unim me mpese me yi nsem afri nanum onze din na me mpese me mebo nti na me kan wei 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 ni minim na mu me mpese me mebo me ma afri ono ananum na ono ankasa aka e di akyere wo bo moden ni yenhwe video no be ma akasa yenhwe video no you are behaving as if ndc they are not guineans are they not here they don't know things themselves so what are you saying are they not Ghanaians. They don't know what is going on. Am I the one telling them? If that is what you think and you are not going to vote for me, so be it. But I will always speak the truth. I will not hide. You see, this campaign, I'm not like do die that if I don't win, I'm going to kill myself. And therefore, I will not be afraid of the truth. You see, all those arguments that they are raising, my brother, if you want unity in this party, how would you go and condemn somebody, insult him, then when you finish, you use the word reconciliation. That is why I choose my words carefully. I don't insult anybody. But when you hit, severally, they're going around everywhere, destroying Kenya Japan. I can tell you of Anodon Pre, I can tell you of Admaku Befi, I can tell you of Ochiri Befi, I can tell you of uh, Opariansa. So many people going out there, hitting Kene Japan, and the system is happy. The party is happy because Kene Japan is not a human being. And when I hit back, you have a problem. I've given you an example of what the regional minister has done, yeah. but I've not commented. But you see, nobody has heard them. But I have the videos, the audio. Nobody. What regional minister from Western Region posted, nobody has condemned them. And if I defend myself, so if you are pulling station executive and you are suffering and you want to continue to suffer, I've done my part. God knows I told you the truth. You didn't take it. You chose to be where you were. No problem. My brother, me, I'm not afraid of. I have built myself in such a way that nobody can undermine me. And you know what? My background makes me a tough guy because all these guys that are following, following a particular candidate, most of them can't make it. 
without the government help. Me, when you sack me, when you take everything from me, what about my family land? Atasim Fusu. Are you going to take my family land also from me? <laughs> and now I will farm in star. I will farm in star. I told my wife <laughs> that look, we will go to Asim Fusu and farm. I have a big house, about 29, 40 bedrooms. Sit there. One mile square is for me. All I have to do is I want fresh food. Uh, Coco yam. Bring the leaves. Contumere. Hey, plantain. Apim. Way. I'm eating Kobe. You know Kobe. Ask them. Yeah. Indeed, how can you collapse me? And fortunately, my kids have good jobs. Besides what I am creating for them, they are all smart. They have good jobs in America. Lender of last resort. If you collapse my business, my children, they, they are happy wherever they are. So I'm only telling them the truth. And if the truth hurts, so you are the victim, and I'm educating you, and you think I'm hitting back. If you see, they are not being fair. I did not hit the vice president, but I hit one MP. Because he said, we don't want somebody who will come and say that I have done this for the party, I have done this for Ghana, but we want a strategist. <laughs> so I asked, who is a strategist? You were in parliament shouting that we are not going to IMF today or tomorrow. In the next two hours, IMF, are you a strategist? Are you? And you see, the diabolic ways of you media to be a part of it. Media. Sure. We are also part of the blame. Yeah. Because you don't even give the full, you know. You only do sensational news. But the full details, you don't even bring. Even when I made that statement, I advised them that they should stop the way they are campaigning. Because... In the, the end, play the we, full tape next morning. In the, in the end, we all have to be. You right. advise the party to do a clean campaign. Exactly. Otherwise, if you hit me, Kennedy, I also. Hit I will you hit back. you back. So why are the, the people you, uh, how do interview, are blaming me because I'm hitting hard? What these people said there, nobody has heard. And you know what, my brother? Politics never get into politics. The people that I have helped made them who they are today. They are the ones that are against me. Yeah. I've bought cars, give them money, campaign for them to win their seats. They are my, my number one enemy. <laughs> but I just look at them and say, Lord, forgive them. Because of their stomach. Do, do some still call you? Because, I mean, they know Kennedy is aware. I, I probably is not supporting Kennedy. I'm fo following a different candidate. Kennedy has made me who I am. Do some call. Oh, yeah, about you guys here, yeah, they call, but... Brother, that the mistrust has clearly defined and it's established. So whatever you are telling me, I don't want to listen. Go ahead and do your own thing. Well, Kennedy at the point called for an open debate on politics, not only for who wants to become the flag bearer of the MPP, but generally in Ghana. I mean, oh, what, yes. what are you bringing oh, on yes. board? Let's have a very oh, um, yes. open debate. Oh, yes. You tell Ghanaians what you oh, want. Yes. And what I'm I can also ready. Do. Ever ready. Ever ready. I'll give them talk, technical knockouts. I'll give pragmatic solutions to our problems. Yes. I mean, you have not built your base and you are telling me that you can reduce interest rate or inflation when we are always importing, importing. Let your export exceed import and see how you stabilize the currency, the foreign uh, demand of our foreign currency. You export maize, whatever, soya bean, a lot of things outside Ghana. And stop the importation of tomatoes from even Burkina. We import about 700 million dollars of rice, 700 million dollars of sugar with this land that we have here. And two, these two, a 
is 1.4 billion. If we have it in the system, there will be no pressure on our dollar. That is how I'm going to solve the problems. Uh, before we wrap up, um, let's look at the probabilities. Um, if Honorable King Ajapon doesn't win um, this election, are we still going to see you actively involved in the MPP campaign for the 2020? If they continue the way they are continuing, big no! I'm telling you. You think I'm afraid? If they go the way they are going, me when I lose straight, I go back to America. If you, you say you can win, win without Kenya Japan. Let Aduma Kube Fi and all those guys go and do the campaign. Uh, the party would call you, the others would beg you, call me. Will talk to Kennedy. And uh, you think I'll always be a fool? You think I'm always going to be a fool to them? Spend my money for these young men to insult me? If they stop, fine. If they don't stop, count me out. I'm not afraid. I'm telling you. Let's look at the other probability where Ken, Ken wins. What would you have to do with the other um, um, candidates? Other candidates, if you like, join. If you don't. <laughs> I'm telling you that me, I'm not campaigning as if said, hell should break loose at all costs. Can a Japan should win? Okay. You see, that is why I'm doing clean campaign. I would not feel shy to call anybody or anybody who feels. One of them has approached two people saying that he feels I'm a nice person. The way he has been with me for long, he has made a mistake about the things he said against me. I said, leave him. He should live with his conscience. All of them except one. Yeah, he called that he wants to see me personally and apologize. When you were disgracing me, was I there? And he want to come to me quietly. Well, he has said boldly that he will go on air to apologize. But why is this man going out there to apologize? I leave it to Guineas. I leave it to the party people. I leave it to the party people. But media, if they continue like this, the word reconciliation, I will not understand. You can bring Jesus Christ to explain reconciliation. With this insult, with these lies that they peddle about me, me, I'm quiet. Probably they are seeing you as a very tough um, person in the race. So and all this, I mean, all this time, they didn't know something you're tough. Or they talk probably, or Kennedy, the way he's talking, I would contest, I would contest probably. You wouldn't have even uh, there go to pick a form to contest. Uh, you'll be, pick, uh, you'll be uh, speaking with them. Um, one central is a very strong constituency. I know you probably might have been told. Um, uh, it's, 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 it's the Zongo constituency in the Upper West region. Um, uh, each and every one of the executives that stands on its own. Um, uh, I mean, they have their reasons why they would move to one side or not probably uh, move to the other side. And I know across Ghana, you've met a lot of constituencies that has traits of um, some of these uh, caravans. And I know you'll be very blunt to them as well that this is my message. That is where I want to move Ghana to. If you buy into my idea, fine. If you don't buy into my idea, fine. Are you seeing that you reap? Good number of votes from the upper works region. Yeah, because I'm also a Wala boy. And a chief as well. Yeah, I'm also a Wala boy. <laughs> <laughs> so if that's the, 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 the way you want to go. Yeah. But again, I love Muslims. Sure. Because they are so honest and sincere if they say they love you. And over the years, the way I've lived with Muslims, I'm not afraid. Because they are one kind of religious group that if they say they support you, they support you. And they don't care where you come from. Okay. Because the help, I have given my radio station, my television station, for them to teach Islam. Sure. Free of charge. I help Muslim communities. So what is the problem? Because somebody is a Muslim, you are afraid that all Muslims are going to vote for you. My message is simple. 
a Muslim brother is the one when you are in need will help you. Okay. A Muslim brother is not only by religion or the same sex. Okay? So me, I'll, I'm a more Muslim than most of the Muslim <laughs> politicians. Yeah, because I'm always out there to help Muslims. Indeed, if you're a Muslim by religion and you don't help your fellow Muslims, you cannot be called a Muslim. I'm not saying you cannot be called a Muslim, but I'm saying that that does not give you the warrant to say that every Muslim should vote for you. Sure. Again, you say nothingness. Yeah, your relationship. You have a good relationship with yes, nothingness. Yes, with nothingness. All my workers, he, this man standing here, works at Ashrafim. He's called Shaibu. Okay. Maybe the way I've treated him, a young man like that has built his own house in Kumasi. Wow. I just feel proud of him. I don't envy him. Some bosses will say that, why should this guy, you know how much he makes, why should he build a house? He, he becomes a problem. Our situations, people have even gone ahead to confiscate, uh, confisc uh, confiscate those houses. Yes. It has happened in Wahia. here. Yeah, but I'm proud of him. He's called Shaibu. That is why he's here with me. I have nine boys from the northern region, the five northern regions. At least you are here, you know. You educated person. The security I gave, I give each three thousand CDs. When they were working at national security, they were giving them thousand CDs. So who is a Muslim brother? A Muslim brother who will employ you <laughs> and give you four hundred Ghana CDs. Huh? A northerner is the one who will employ you and think you are not smart and give you 500 Ghana cities so that you always see him and say yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. I empower northerners and Muslims. Call my driver. I pay him 5,000 cities a month. I gave him two plots and gave him 40,000 to go and start building a house. And wow. now last year, he took me and my wife there to see he has built eight bedrooms. So this man, who is a Muslim brother or a, a, a northerner to him? That is the message. As simple as that. Okay. A man who can create job opportunities for Muslims, for northerners, for Ashantis, for everybody. We shouldn't say that we are going to vote based on religious beliefs or tribes. Okay. That will not help us. That's the one that can do the job. Right. And the one who has shown love, care for you in times of need and everything. I use my own money to help Muslim girls, boys, give them training, you know, laptops, sewing machines, hairdress. You know my name? I'm Sheikh Osman. Sheikh Osman. Osman. Yeah, Sheikh Ashalbutu chief Iman gave me that title, Osman. Fantastic. So I asked him, why Osman? He said in Islam, a man who was kind to his fellow Muslims was called Osman. That is why he's giving me that title, Sheikh wow. Osman.